welcome back to Free Media. I'm Robbie Suave. And I'm Amber Duke. During an appearance on Tim Pool's show this week, former President Donald Trump claimed that Dr. Anthony Fauci played a minor role in his administration. Let's watch. Fauci wasn't a big player in my administration like he was after I left. I mean, Biden made him the king of everything. And uh, if you if you take a look at that, Fauci was not the big player with me that he was. And in fact, I did things that he didn't want to do. He wanted to keep it open to China. I said, you got to close it to China because it was all coming out of China. It was coming out of Wuhan, which I said right at the beginning. So with all due respect to former President Trump, that seems like bullshit. Uh, <laughs> he made Dr. Fauci the face of the response to COVID. He basically listened to Fauci, as far as we can tell, substantially for at least a long while. He did eventually get frustrated with Dr. Fauci, started complaining about him after it was kind of too late. Um, you know, so I watched this clip, because that was Tim Pool uh, basically presenting the conservative or libertarian you know, criticism of Trump on COVID lines that he, you know, let Fauci lock down the country and do everything else. And, uh, and Trump goes on to say that, like, and, you know, when you complain about it at the state level, look, I just, you know, let the states do what they want to do. It's federalism. And that's true to a point. But basically what the responses of the state looked like is many state officials said, well, we're going to, what does our health department say to do? And the health department said, well, what does the CDC say to do? And thus, and it was not like, and the CDC now tries to say, well, that was just voluntary guidance. We were just saying what we thought. But at the time, it was like, if you don't do what the CDC, what Rochelle Walensky and her predecessors and Dr. Fauci and Deborah Burks, if you're not listening to them, you're an anti-science, you want people to die. You will be responsible for widespread mass death. That was the message of the government at the highest levels. And so that guidance was followed. So I think it's not quite right to say, oh, it's just a hands off. It was just advice. You could take it or leave it. It did not feel voluntary to state and local officials. No, and Trump actually criticized some Republicans at the time who were opening up their states before the CDC suggested that it was safe to do so. I mean, I believe he criticized Henry McMaster and Brian Kemp in Georgia for doing that. Um, and I apologize if I got the names wrong, but I, I do know that he criticized yeah. um, those states specifically right. for opening up early. And, I, you know, he's right that he bucked the guidance on closing the border with China. But everything that followed that, it seemed like he was pretty much in lockstep with Anthony Fauci. Anthony Fauci was at every single press briefing on public health for at least the first 100 days of the, the coronavirus response, standing alongside Deborah Burks, who everyone fawned over her scarves, and it turned wow. out she was just as bad as Dr. Fauci. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think he has not done enough to really answer for his willingness to go along with the public health bureaucracy. I hope that he learned something from it. He did say that he was willing to look at criminal prosecutions for people like Dr. Fauci, which yeah. is a, obviously a welcome step. But I also asked Trump about this back in the summer of 2021. I was actually the first person to ask him why he didn't fire Anthony Fauci, and here's what he told me. He said, well, he's been there for 40 years or something. He's like a fixture. And I basically did, for the most part, the opposite of what he was saying. He was totally against masks, and then he became a radical masker. He was against closing the country to China and to Europe, and he will admit that what I did saved thousands of thousands of lives. Um, but, I mean, the fact that he's a fixture, he's been there for 40 years, it's like, well, is that really a justification, though, when you were the person who came in promising to clear out the swamp, drain the swamp, get rid of these career bureaucrats who were making poor decisions on behalf of the American people, despite being unelected and not accountable to anyone. So that excuse just didn't fly to me. Well, yeah, and speaking of Dr. Fauci, now we're getting into, you know, all that stuff is policies he recommended that I think are were absolutely incorrect. Um, it's getting, with him, it's getting worse than that now. It's the revelations about, you know, stonewalling, independent investigations, FOIA. Um, there was a lot of news last week about one of his top deputies being grilled before Congress and basically, admit, you know, being shown these emails the deputy wrote about how to avoid getting FOIA'd. Um, there's a lot of legitimate questions now about, you know, about the lab leak theory and where COVID might have originated from and the extent to which Fauci was able to, like, direct the scrutiny, even in the scientific community, away from that possible explanation. Um, the whole, you know, uh, Senator Rand Paul has accused Fauci of 
misleading Congress about the extent to which gain of function research was still being done at a time when, you know, when the Obama administration had banned it being done. Fauci was writing uh, waivers to continue this research. Um, it's not really, this is like, this is not a partisan thing. There's like everyone in Washington is very concerned now about um, the NIH under his leadership and whether these very dangerous, reckless experiments were taking place in unsafe lab conditions in China, funded by the U.S. taxpayers. And so I, I really do hope, uh, you know, not just for the like, okay, I get, like, he can't be, he shouldn't be, I don't think he should be prosecuted because he was wrong about masks or something. You know, he should be held accountable in the democratic process or whatever, although he's a bureaucrat, so you can't like vote him out of office. We could at least take um, his pension away. <laughs> we could maybe take his pension away. <laughs> but if he lied to Congress, if he funded the research that God Almighty caused this pandemic and, and lied about it and covered it up, yes, there should be criminal charges right. for that. Well, and that's the most disturbing thing about his lies and the way that they did try to counteract people looking into the lab leak theory was because it, the perception is that he did it in order to cover up the fact that the NIH was giving money to EcoHealth, which was giving money to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, specifically for bat to focused experiment on bat function research. I think we should just stop experimenting. I'm calling for just a moratorium on that. And the Until irony we can being, figure out what the hell is going on. There was one in place, and there was one in place <laughs> under the Obama administration and waivers were granted to do it anyway. Uh, uh, national security. Yeah, it seems like our national security was not enhanced by this research. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more free media in just a minute.